So I have no idea what I'm doing in life. Let me explain a little bit. At the beginning of this year, I decided to drop my business and fully become a YouTuber. And I was super excited. Everything was gonna work out. I was taking all the risks I needed to and I was going to be a YouTuber. Now, this is funny because it took me so long to build that business. I mean, the first two to three months was so difficult and I barely made any money until I finally started to have a consistent set of clients that was actually paying me a decent amount of money. Unfortunately, after I got a consistent set of clients, it just felt unfulfilling. It felt like there was no purpose, no drive behind it, no future behind it. So I decided to make a change and that's when I decided to become a full-time YouTuber. Unfortunately, that meant receiving zero cash flow for a little bit and I gave myself a time limit of three months to make it. Well, three months went by and nothing. Things were still the same as they were at the beginning of the year. In a very real sense, all of my beliefs were challenged because what I had originally thought to be true was just not true. I thought that if I did everything right in three months, I would be a YouTuber. And after those three months, after taking all the actions, which I believe to be true, still just nothing. I fell into a state of just being unmotivated. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to make or create anything. And I just felt really stuck. I think we all constantly go through this cycle of just feeling like we know exactly what we're doing and then something just throws us off. I mean, taking the assumption that work brings purpose, if your work is suddenly meaningless or pointless or going nowhere, then you're suddenly left without purpose or meaning. So we constantly go through this cycle of either a workflow or a state of defeatness and meaninglessness. And this is brought upon to you by failure. Once you're hit by something like defeat or failure, then all your previous beliefs about what you are doing are suddenly challenged because you don't know if they still are able to guide you into the future, to take the steps that you need to take going into the future. So what's the solution to the cycle? And the truth is that there really is none. It's sad, I know. But one thing that we can do is control the length of each period of the cycle. Meaning that we can make our state of meaninglessness and defeat and failure, we can shorten that time of the cycle so that the other part can be bigger. So how can we do that? Well, like anything else in life, we can treat it like a game. When our beliefs are challenged, we can ask ourselves, how can I reorient my beliefs so that I can align myself to have a more probable success in the future when achieving my goals? And this is a question that really helped me out because when you're able to ask yourself this question, you accept defeat and meaninglessness and you accept that the beliefs that guided you are no longer sustainable for the future. When you accept that your beliefs are no longer right, then you can move on and find new beliefs, find new rules, find new guidelines to set for your future life. I know exactly what I want my life to look like in the future, and I refuse to let go of that vision. So whenever something throws me off, I simply reset, I think about it, I think about what beliefs I have that I can change, and I continue to take the steps to move forward. Just reorient yourself and continue moving forward. That's it. That's how you make the cycle work in your favor because it is that depth, that meaninglessness that brings you actual meaning. Kind of ironic, I know. So to that point, I still have no idea what I'm doing in life. I don't think that any of us truly do. But remember that there's a factor in this that allows us to take an objective and create an illusion that we're taking steps forward. And that, that factor is faith. You have to have faith to move forward because you have to believe that there's going to be a step ahead of you. And you might be asking, well, what is faith? Well, the best way I can explain it is that when you walk on pavement, every step that you take, you believe that there is going to be ground under you. That's faith because you have faith that things are going to be okay as you take steps forward. Now, the same sort of philosophy can be applied to your life. Even if you get thrown off, even if you face failure, as long as you have faith and continue to believe that there is going to be a step under you to take, then you can continue moving forward and reorient yourself to succeed in this completely crazy world. So these are some thoughts I've been having lately. I hope they can maybe help someone out there who is struggling with the same sort of thing. Remember to have faith in your actions and in yourself because it is faith that allows you to make progress and move forward. To my 311 followers, I wanted to thank you guys so much, genuinely. I mean, it means so much that there are 311 people around the world that just take time out of their day and watch my videos. And that's huge because time is literally your most precious resource. It is the only resource that you have that has its limit. And it means so much that you use some of your time to watch my videos. I know that to some other people, that's relatively not a huge following, but I appreciate every single 
second that you guys spend watching my videos and I appreciate every single one of you genuinely from my, the bottom of my heart. I don't take it for granted at all and as I continue to build a following, um, I will still continue to value each and every single one of you. So thank you so much. I'm extremely grateful. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I hope you choose to make today a great day.